This is the How to Beach channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, we appreciate that very much. Thank you. Um, I just want to do a quick little intro today. Niso Tents reached out to us and they sent us one of their sunshades. And a lot of the beaches here on St. Thomas have trees on the beach, but there are a few beaches that we don't go to very often because there is zero shade. And this is what this tent was designed for. If you're considering buying any kind of a beach tent or sunshade for the beach, I think this is the way to go. I did a lot of research on these um, before I kind of knew what I wanted. And this, it's lightweight, it packs easy, um, it sets up fast. You'll see in the video, this is our first time using it, so I didn't want to... This, I don't like unboxing videos because everybody knows how to take a product out of the box, but sometimes learning how to set some of these tents and things up is a little bit of a learning curve. So you'll see in the video, if I would have read the directions correctly the first time, I would have had no problems. But since I'm a man, I didn't really read the directions. You'll see it all in the video. Um, also, if you, find con if you find this type of content um, enjoyable or helpful, or you just enjoy watching these things, please consider hitting the subscribe button and then hit the like button down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm push me out to get more exposure. And if you ring the bell down there, it'll let you know every time I put out a new video so you won't miss any of this awesome content. And as a bonus feature, be sure you stay till the end of the video because I've got a beach tip, beach hack on how to get the sand off of your feet. When we were hiking down to this beach, we had shoes and socks on and trying to figure out how to put those back on with sandy feet can be a challenge if you don't know this awesome hack. It also works if you're trying to put sandy kids in the car or yourself, you don't wanna get sand in your car. So stay to the end for the beach tip, beach hack on how to get the sand off of you. And without further ado, here is our trip down to a secluded beach to try out the new Niso tent. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for coming by the How to Beach channel. I'm be bringing you videos about beach tips, beach hacks, everything about the beach. How to Beach. That's the wrong way. What's that? Oh no, you're good. There's a place right in this field where it... Okay, how am I going to cross these things? This is ridiculous. Yeah. Remember when I told you the grass was twice as high? This is what it looks like. <laughs> and I don't have anything to... You want me to go first? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to go second. And you yeah. don't have to machete. Is this way? Just... You always send the ladies first if there could be danger. But look at this. There is a sign there. Anything yeah, I think you go left here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see a marker? No, but at least this is like a trail looking here. Yeah, that looks like that's the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look at that big old termite mouth. It's as big as he is. Try not to get your backpack stuck on that stick. Well, that there you go, you're good. Difficult. <laughs> yeah. And yeah then, this is definitely the path. Look at that big millipede. Real professional hiking <laughs> beach chair. Yeah. Uh-huh. My gardening hat. Wait till they see how cool oh, we look on the beach. I call it... We made it! Yay. Another private Caribbean beach, all to ourselves. Your first time here. And these people. Okay, this is day one with the Niso Grande. We got the directions here, lay tent flat, make it into an X, put the poles together, prop it up. Shouldn't be too hard. Here's our location let the games be I forgot my tripod so I have constructed the beach version
that's it. That was pretty easy. Beniso Grande. Weighs like six pounds. That was, took five minutes to put up. <laughs> oh no. We have had catastrophic failure of the Niso. Okay, so we've had the Niso tent up all day. The only learning curve that we had was the sand bags on the edges. We didn't put enough sand in them, so the wind like a little tiny gust of wind came by and blew it over. But then we put more sand in those bags and it's been perfectly fine. We were hanging out out here in the water. The wind picked up and didn't fall down. Some dudes on a boat showed up. Party ensued. So what do you guys think about the Niso tent? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Plenty shady. Yeah, it got us out of the sun. Like, there's no shade on this beach. Like, you can see, like, it's just rocks and then trees on top of the rocks. So you're, this is all rocks. If you want to be in the shade here, this is your only option. So this has been great. So this is our first day with the Niso tent in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. It gets a big stamp of approval. Man, y'all are harsh. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna put our new Niso tent away. This thing worked perfect. Once we put more sand in the bag, we're gonna take this down. We're gonna show you how small all of our gear packs up, even smaller than the negativity of the people in my group. Okay, beach hack number 502. I can't believe everybody doesn't know this hack already. When your feet are wet and sandy, take baby powder, put it in your hand, like squeeze a liberal amount in there. Yeah, now wipe it on your foot. And it soaks up the moisture. It is working. And it just makes the sand just fall right off of your feet. And then you can slip your trick. shoes and socks back on. I like this trick. Yeah. Learned something new today. People who think they're beach experts, I can't believe they don't know this trick. Like, I, I have to admit, it took me a long time before I learned it, but. Oh, this is solid, never done this. It's pretty good. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the beach. There it is, we're in the trail. Here's the tent. I got the backpack cooler. Jeff's barely carrying anything. He's got his chair. Anna's got everything else up there. The, the other chairs, the table, the change of clothes. So we're gonna hike it out. Hopefully the trail's a little bit dried out, not as slippery. That was a fun day at the beach. Okay, we made it back to the road. What did you think of the hike? It was easier coming up than going down. I disagree. Look how sweaty I am. It wasn't as slippery. I'm also bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe.